Well, if it isn't my favorite client, how you been, my friend? Do I love to hear that? That really makes me happy. Me? Oh, you know, I've been living the dream. It's in Cuba last week. Ah, uh, can't say it was from my own doing. Remember last time we did the transfers and whatnot, and I didn't have my gloves on. Yeah, well, you dumped that firearm, and it came back with my fingerprints on it. So I had a bunch of bad guys chase me around for the better part of the past four months. But who's counting? My own fault. I know. I got too loose. I have gloves on this time, though. So we won't repeat that same mistake again. Enough about me, though. I'm treating you good. Everything's fine. Dandy. That's good to hear. And, uh, how's the family doing? Good. All right, well, it looks like you got back in one piece. Syria, was it? That's always a fun time over there. But I heard that they got you air assets on the ground. Is that true? Yeah, drones and stuff flying over for you. Put that for you. You made it to the big time. Well, good job. I'm sure you earned it. Back when I was doing what you're doing, we had to work for our kills. Just kidding. Really? No, kind of. Let's go ahead and take a look at that passport. Thank you. What name are you going with this time? Lebanese. So you might have them change that. You're going to grow out the beard. Okay. That should work. And the stamps. Mm, okay. Paints a nice picture. It really does. And you look a little tanner. So you might want to go, you know, get in a tanning bed or something like that. It's fine though. You'll, you'll check it out. Let me take a look in your eyes real quick. How are you doing since the... Fun fact, last time I was, I was the trial years ago and I actually lost like 40 IQ points. So. They set me up for life though. I don't have to work anymore. I just do this for fun. But anyway, I keep talking about me. This is getting ridiculous. How you feeling? Okay. You follow my life for me. And then follow it back up. Follow it to the right and Thank you, check out. All right, so, as always, I got the goodies for you. Uh, Moscow, this time. Okay. All right, so, have you been learning? Brushing up on your Russian? I'm not even going to pretend like I know it, but... Go on, give me a sentence. Say, good evening, Cap. It's so great to be here again. You got the accent down, too. That's incredible. All right. Yeah. You're getting good. You're getting real good. I'm kind of flattered to be in front of you right now, turning a little red. I've got the device that you asked for. It is going to be pretty important.
So, do you have a, a pen that you would prefer to use? that up. Let me go back. Sorry. Uh, my mind wanders. It's that stupid stuff they gave me last time. Okay. So what, what number were you thinking? It could be between like five and fifteen digits. Just whatever you want. Six. Okay, we got this programmed for you. Don't lose it. This is a big part of your mission. I read the briefing. They're actually filling me in on stuff these days. I'm gonna put that right there for you. Uh, I actually also got this new drone that I think you might want to try out. It's, it's equipped with some pretty powerful technology, but I'll just kind of show it to you. Also, want to make sure I put the wings on right because last time I did this, it went and. Uh, Landed on the farmer's roof, so let me go ahead and pull it out. We'll both take a look at it. Ah. tell you there's a new and we'll get to it you're right but I want to I want to give you a quick hint there's a new tool that I put together for you that I think you're really gonna like it's probably my personal favorite today yes it's a firearm yeah you are bond after all and I get that the portrayals of you in movies, you know, they always have you running around with the Walter. But you and I both know pistols don't quite get the job done like they used to. This is a new day and age. You gotta really be on top of it with your rifles. You can't just run around with a handgun. You look, you know, it's like bows and arrows. I mean, it's just not even not really fair if you do. Working on having these things injected molded so that it's just all one piece, but we're not quite there yet. What's that? Well, that was the new Q. Um, you would think I would know these things, but the department's broken everything up into uh, subcategories, so there's a word for contamination or something like that. They don't want me knowing too much. They don't want those guys knowing too much. And then, you know, before you know it, no one knows anything. And then, da, 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 da. But anyway, my uh, recommendation was for them to do away with all these little screws because, you know, what if this thing crashes in the field? You know, you're not going to have time to go out there and find these little screws, piece it back together, get this little tiny screwdriver out and screw too much work. And you know, like less is more in regards to gear. So 
the less moving parts, the better. Got to make it fail safe. But I understand what they're trying to do. This really is a fantastic tool. But fantastic until you crash it exactly. Then it's not a fantastic tool. And like imagine. their own and I might not be you know all that tech savvy like last key was but my weapons knowledge is way way better than that dude I hate to blow my own horn uh, okay I think we got this tightened up and ready to go for that. I'm going to go ahead and pack this for you. Okay. Don't mention it. Nice. Okay. Drum roll, please. blend in and usually I equipped you with NATO weaponry M4 SP horse short barrels all that popular stuff but in this case to blend in a little bit better I've actually built you a fully operational alpha 104 to be specific. So it shoots 762 rounds. Really big. Punching power, you know. And you know, they, Daniel Craig in the movie is kind of a brute. I figured I would model this, and I know that's fictional and you're real, but what do you do? So, let me show you. It's over here. What's that? The night vision? Yeah, I'll pack it for you. Yeah, I was I was gonna pack that. Cause we already have the we'll get to it. What we have here is a AK one oh four. All the bells and whistles. EOTech EXPS 3L Night Vision compatible. As you can see with this little NB there, that means night vision. You just click that, you can see with your goggles for passive aiming. Hey, there's strategic two point sling SLR rifle works. Was a J Mac muzzle brake compatible with the chemo dead air suppressor? Yep, this little thing right here sharp as attack, and it actually shoots about 1.2 MLA at 100 yards. No, don't believe all the apply keys are quite incredibly accurate, really. Oh, and I should also tell you it has an ALG trigger.
is D ball D2. A new collection. Is an IR illuminator. And how it works is with your night vision goggles on. And I'll stop now if you already know what I'm going to say. You want to know the details? Okay. I figured you would. You and I get along like this. With your night vision goggles on, this has an infrared illuminator. Focusable to a nice little ball. Or you can open it up for a diffuse light, clearing rooms and whatnot. It also has an infrared green and green rather laser so how this works is if you have night vision goggles on right they pick up a spectrum infrared that you can't see with your naked eye so imagine you're the bad guy you're walking around at night can't see you know two feet in front of your face and it just looks like a nice night out stars moon all that good stuff and then that same bad guy gets a pair of night vision goggles and puts those night vision goggles on and all of a sudden there's lasers all over the place that he couldn't see with his naked eye as well as illuminators just lighting up the whole entire area sounds like science fiction my friend but it's real and i got it for you now this works by Making adjustments to this knob here. Many different functions. What you'll want to do is put it on high, illuminate all the way to the right. That'll get you where you want to go. But make sure that when you use this, you remove this cover cap, as well as this one. Okay, to make it operate, there's a button here. So you just double click with your thumb, that'll give it automatic on, make it stay on. And you can just go about your day. But it's got about three hours of battery life, so don't let it run too long. Obviously, rifle's empty, like I already showed you. This is the white light. You've seen the X300 before. You simply just tap that. And it turns on. Now, if you're going to be running night missions, I would recommend you put a can on suppressor. Because if you don't, this 12.5 inch barrel is going to throw some fireballs straight out of Mordor. So you want to put the can on that. Let me go ahead and grab that for you. It's in my pack right here. Okay. So you know how the dead air works. We put this on before. You just place it on the top of the rifle. It will seat like so. Then you just screw it till it stops screwing. like that and it's locked on tight obviously an incredible item but also got you some legitimate surplus 30 round mags because just as important as the weaponry is you blending in with said weaponry and if I sent you out there with some P mags American made stuff they would know right away that you're not one of them so as authentic as your accent is, Russian accent, as are these magazines. Let me show you. See, here's an authentic Polish made surplus steel magazine. As compared to Something like a BMAG, which is a standard here in America, but unfortunately, 
only in America. The plastic stuff's okay, you know, but you really can't, you can't beat the old school surplus steel. So I'm going to pop that in for you. What do you think about it? <laughs> you liking it? Good. I love to hear that. That makes my day. So I'll go ahead and put this down. And we didn't get any fingerprints on it this time, so that's always good. Now, do you have any questions for me? Just quickly go over the night vision goggles. Okay, I can do that for you. I like when you ask questions, it allows me to really expand and display my information, my knowledge, my nerd knowledge. All right. This is our night vision set. These are DT and BS, DT, DT and BS goggles with Echo 4G photonist tubes. You know, I knew you were going to be doing a lot of movement in and around cities. Fire, lights, spill, all that good stuff. And these photonis tubes really shine in those settings. You know, you could go L bit XLSH or you could go L3 tubes, but these photonis tubes really in urban settings are what you want. Very little haloing. Bloom is quite manageable and the auto gating is like prime. So that's how that works. You just flip them on with this switch here. And they'll turn on. The helmet itself is a Wilcox. Wilcox. It's a long day. The helmet itself is a Team Windy carbon helmet. It's an X-Fill, that's right. And the mount is a Wilcox G24. And then with the ears and communication systems, we have a pair of Peltor Comtac 5s. And these are phenomenal for picking up ambient sounds, as well as voices and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, that's how that works. Yeah, try them on. Yeah, sure. Just put that. On for you there. Okay. Can you see anything? Not really. Okay. We'll get that fitted for you. We'll get that fitted for you, no problem. But I really do got to be going. We'll go over uh, the brief real quick and then I'll get out of here. I know you're busy. You got a dinner tonight in Moscow? Oh, wow. What time is it? Jeez. Okay. Put this back. So, don't forget this. You remember your, you remember your code. Okay, your pen's not gonna change. Don't give it to anybody. Just put this in your pocket. And when you get to where you're going, you'll be able to pull as much money as you need to out of this. Just you know, don't go overboard. We keep an eye on these things. Passport looks like it's good to go. And your mission to infiltrate and expose the tyrannical government there is. Okay, well, sounds good to me, my friend. Well, listen, I'm glad we can get you set up. You can go ahead and take this with you. 
once you get finished with your mission, I implore you to come back and let me know how you like it. It should operate pretty fine. I tuned it myself. Sure thing, here you go. And, as always, don't be a stranger. Glad I could help you. Stay safe. Till next time.